Is the door to Iron Man totally closed? Because I don't believe it is. Every day, the reset button, the space bar gets pressed, and it's like, now what? 30 years, he has struggled with a dangerous drug addiction that nearly destroyed him. And today, he says he's clean, he's in love. And so by the time you're in prison, that's not rock bottom for you? Nope. Most difficult situations will resolve themselves if you are persistent and if you don't give up entirely. And that's what I never did. I never gave up. Do you still get urges to do drugs? I have not even an inkling of a desire. It's not that difficult to overcome these seemingly ghastly problems. What's hard is to decide. Without a doubt, one of the most frustrating sensations a man can feel is weakness. Feeling like no matter what you say, nobody seems to listen. No matter how hard you strive, things never seem to go your way. Whatever you set your sights on always seeming that little bit too far out of reach. But this kind of weakness is the product of a state of mind. You see, certain habits feed into this negative cycle of thoughts and behavior, and the situation won't improve unless you make the effort to break out of bad habits. The Sigma Male Mindset is all about harnessing the strength and power that lies inside each and every man and using it to overcome weakness. And that's exactly what I want to discuss in today's episode of Notes from a Sigma Male. Slipping into bad habits. We are all human. Chances are there's hardly a person out there who doesn't have a bad habit or two, whether it be indulging in a vice a little too often or caving into certain impulses you know you should probably resist. These urges are what make us human. Without them, there would be no strength at all, because strength is not the absence of negative impulses. Rather, it's the ability to manage and overcome them. When it comes to men feeling weak or impotent in their day-to-day -day lives, the same patterns of behavior always seem to emerge. And learning to recognize them is key to nipping the problem in the bud and rediscovering your sense of inner strength. No man should allow himself to go through life feeling weak. Unvoiced opinions. That crippling feeling of nobody listening to you is one of the most common symptoms that men experiencing a state of weakness report experiencing. Nine times out of 10, this is a state that is self-induced through the bad habit of not being able to properly voice your opinion. If you don't have confidence in your own opinion, then who else will? Every man needs to recognize that it is his responsibility and only his to champion his own ideas. You need to be the strongest fighter in your own corner. And this means voicing your opinions and voicing them with confidence. And not being able to voice your opinions successfully is usually down to poor communication skills. There are some very easy steps you can take to kick this bad habit and improve your ability to voice your opinion like a Sigma male. These steps include putting things clearly. You don't need to overcomplicate your point of view in order to seem smart or worthy of respect. That comes across as trying too hard, and a lot of the time your actual opinion is going to get lost in jargon and technicalities. So instead of dressing your point with frills and bows, try to keep things as simple as possible. Einstein is quoted as saying, if you can't explain something simply, it means you don't understand it well enough. And this is not the impression you want to give if you want people to truly listen to you and get on board with what you have to say. So when trying to voice your opinion, focus on trimming the unnecessary fat from your argument and being as direct as possible. Sigmas are by nature observers more than actors. They sit and bide their time before throwing their two cents into the ring. And this allows them to fully form their opinion and reflect carefully before weighing in on a given subject. And this kind of patience leads to a really well-prepared argument that can be presented with confidence. Taking a leaf out of the Sigma book and learning to properly order your thoughts before throwing them out there will allow you to communicate with greater clarity and confidence and will lead to a stronger communication style overall. Nonverbal communication. If you want to get better at communicating and shake off that awful feeling of weakness, 
then non-verbal communication is going to play a big role in changing how you both feel and how you present yourself. The way you physically carry yourself through life plays a surprisingly large role in your external and internal strength. Carrying yourself with confidence is scientifically shown to have a positive influence in the way you perceive yourself, meaning that through body language, you can actually raise your internal confidence levels. And this creates a positive feedback loop that leaves a distinct impact on the people around you and makes them perceive you as confident and comfortable in your own skin, which adds to your feeling of confidence. When the people around you sense this security, they are more likely to hear you and to trust your opinions with a sense of authority. Cool, calm, and collected. Another nasty bad habit that ends up making you both look and feel weak is living with a short temper. Now, if you can't handle yourself with patience and a collected attitude, the people around you will sense that you have no self-control and you yourself will feel at the mercy of tiny influences in your environment. Sigmas are famous for their slightly aloof auras. People feel like they are hard to read and exist slightly outside of the norm, and this is because they possess a cool, calm, and collected sense of distance from their surroundings. And this allows them to be the perfect observer. Sigmas embody many of the key characteristics of the Stoic approach to life, and this is one of them. In Stoicism, a man's duty and path towards self-actualization involves focusing on what is known as the locus of control. This means focusing one's attention on the elements and factors of life that are within our control. The things that we can control is actually a very small list, and it's only the things that we think, the things that we say, and the things that we do. Our own thoughts and actions and words are the only things in life that we actually have 100% control over. Everything else is up. And letting go of the ones that we can't control. And this approach essentially cuts out the need for anger and frustration. If the ability to change something that bothers us is within our control, then anger is useless and we should instead devote that energy towards making the necessary changes. And if what frustrates us lies outside of our control, then there is simply no point in being angry. Sigmas are masters of this stoic practice and that's why they are able to expertly devote their energy towards the task that's going to bring them the most change and the most reward. Learning this practice of focusing on the locus of control will empower you to feel more in control of your own reactions. No longer will you be at the whim of tiny fluctuations in your environment or the unpredictable actions of other people. Most of the time we have to admit to ourselves that anger is in fact a futile response that only serves to distance you further from a sense of strength and control over your own life. So. Learn to channel your frustration into healthy responses and watch as that sense of weakness begins to ebb away. Now, before I continue, it would mean so much to me if you guys could take just a second to head down and hit that like button, and if you're not already subscribed, to do that too. Learning lessons from the Sigma Male Mindset has the potential to improve so many aspects of your life. And by liking the videos and subbing to the channel, you make it easier for me to keep bringing you more content like this. So thank you so much, guys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Now, finally, try new things. Feeling weak pushes men to stay in their safe zone. But this is, in fact, a self-fulfilling negative cycle. If you're too afraid to get out there and push your boundaries, to try new things and explore all the opportunities that the world has to offer, of course you are going to begin to feel weak and impotent. In order to build a sense of strength and power in your day-to-day -day life, you need to learn to put yourself out there and prove to yourself that you are capable of more. The Sigma mindset is all about curiosity and progress, and a Sigma is never satisfied unless he's actively working on himself. Sigmas are always willing to get out there and to try new things, as this is how they discover where their strengths lie and where they need to focus themselves on improving. Sigmas live rich and fulfilling lives because they're not afraid to explore themselves. Instead of letting a fear of failure or inadequacy hold you back from trying new things, let it be a catalyst for growth. That is how you will actualize your potential and realize that you possess far more power than you might have imagined. 
It is truly crazy how many men allow themselves to go through life feeling trapped in a cage that is not of their own building. Understanding the Sigma mindset, which is all about independence and striving to grow and move forward, is the key to shedding this negative mindset that leads to bad habits and insecurity. So shake off that feeling of weakness by kicking those bad habits and unleashing your inner potential. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Notes from a Sigma Male. I hope you were able to gain some insight into the Sigma way. But that's all for this one, and I'll catch you guys next time.